hear those dogs. And my dog just literally cut me all muddy. So I've got the dogs away from it. And so I figure this is the time to do it. This is the time to to say what I want to say and what I prepared for today. So first off, thanks for tuning in. This is my second ever vlog. And I feel pretty grateful for those of you who watched it and shared it. So thank you. Today I really wanted to talk about being grateful with where you are. Because the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Recognizing the opportunities that you have when you have them. So... I was raised in a very rural farm community in central Utah, and when I became a teenager, I started getting into, I don't know if you want to call it pop culture or the trendy life, and all that I thought about was skateboarding in the city, going to concerts in the city, living in the city, moving to the city because the big city lights and the hustle and bustle were way better. I went to college, I found a job up north, the Wasatch Front area, Salt Lake, Utah Valleys, and I found work, I enjoyed my work. And I was happy, although something was weird and different and missing from what I was accustomed to. It took me a couple years to recognize and realize that I really was at home in rural Utah. That was, I really miss rural Utah. To visit the farm, to visit, you know, just the places that I grew up loving. And so I really think that just goes to say, honestly, that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. You have to still work just as hard wherever you are to find happiness and contentment. Where I am at today, I'm happy where I live. I'm grateful for where I live. I have, you know, a wonderful opportunity. If I have, you know, you know, great friends up here. But that's not to say that, you know, I couldn't have been just as happy, you know, where I was. And so yeah, really, be grateful for where you are. Find contentment, happiness, and know your goals. Know where you want to go and the things you want to reach. Have a good day.